Okay folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to send a message using uh, the APRS ISCE app, uh, which happens to be running on this uh, HP IPAC uh, Pocket PC. And uh, it's running Windows Mobile 6.1. And we're going to use this to send a message uh, to this Yesu FT2D. Uh, the APRS ISCE app is actually the, pretty much the same app uh, that runs on your uh, your Windows PC, only it's been uh, ported to run on on the uh, Windows Mobile platform. Uh, anyway, so we'll go over here to uh, messaging on the uh, Windows Mobile device. We'll click send a message. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to choose uh, into TEK-7, which is already in the list. Uh, if it wasn't, you could uh, you could clear this out and type in the call sign of the of the person who you wanted to, to contact, or send a message to. In this case, it's into TEK-7. That is the call sign that's associated with uh, with this uh, Yesu uh, FT2D. So we'll we'll go in here and we'll click chat. And we'll type in uh, hello and we'll do hello do hello Ryan and when I click send or enter rather on this uh, on this keyboard the uh, the message will pop up on the screen momentarily. Uh, this is just a, uh, a brief uh, uh, view of the message and the white light should start flashing as well uh, to let you know that uh, that you have uh, actually received a message. And so, all right, let's try to do that now. We'll go ahead and click, uh, click enter. And of course, the uh, the radio did did get the message. It's been acknowledged. And we had that brief uh, little uh, screen pop up. So what we'll do now is we'll go into the main messaging window. We'll find that message. Should be the uh, the most recent thing in the list in the messaging list. Uh, view and right there it is we'll click uh, display to pull that up and we can see uh, hello Ryan and that's what we sent you can turn this knob this knob uh, if the message is really long you can uh, you can turn the rotary uh, encoder up here and what that will do is it, it will uh, actually scroll the message uh, so that you can view the entirety of it in this case we don't have to worry about that so we got the message from the pocket PC we want to send a reply back from the FT2D uh, to the Windows Mobile device. So we'll do that. We'll click uh, reply and I want to edit the message a little bit and say uh, uh, we'll just say hello Ryan and we'll put a space in there and put two. And so we'll go ahead and click edit the text. We'll arrow over on the FT2D Put a space in there, clear that period out, we'll go here to the numbers and put a two. Click back. Now that's our message. And so we could either edit it again or we can actually transmit it by pressing this M-TX button. And so that's messaging transmit. And when we do that, we should see uh, Hello Ryan 2 show up here on the Pocket PC. So let's try that now. We'll click, uh, click the M-TX button. And we did get the message, and it's showing up. It's been acknowledged that it's been sent. And that's it. That's pretty much uh, the simplicity of sending a message from uh, between devices. Now, if you didn't, uh, uh, you know, if you didn't have a Windows Mobile device and you're using, uh, let's say, you're using your Android. Uh, phone 
and there is an app called uh, APRS Droid and uh, you can do the same thing with that uh, using APRS Droid and send a message from it to a uh, uh, to a, a radio and so basically how all this works is the pocket PC is connected via Wi-Fi to the internet and it connects to the APRS uh, servers and then once it goes to the servers, it's it's filtered out and by an, an eye gate or a, uh, an eye gate slash digipeter, and that's basically a uh, a TNC. And uh, I'll get you a TNC and show that to you. So this is one of the TNCs that I use, and this is a uh, some micro set. WX three in one mini, and so you connect a weather station or an external device to this port, and this goes to your radio. So the the message from the pocket PC goes to this box. And this box is looking for uh, any messages that may have been received for a particular user. And in this case, the particular user was the FT2D. Um, once the message is received via this box, it's sent out to a transmitter that you, that you connect this to. And that transmitter transmits it over the RF network. And uh, the radio decodes the message and then displays it on here. And, and just the exact reverse. Um, to go from the radio to the uh, to the to the Windows Mobile device, or or like I said, your phone, uh, your your Android phone that may be running the APRS Droid app. Anyways, this is just a uh, just just a basic video, just a little information about about APRS and, and the messaging and how how it works in the simplest terms that I could offer. I hope that you enjoyed the video, uh, and I'll catch you again soon. God bless you and take care of yourself.